What's cracking YouTube? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we are back with box four part number three where we will be opening up 10 Delphox break pack arts from Fates Collide. As you guys can see down here on the main cam we have the 10 Delphox break a booster pack. So what I've done with this box if you guys have missed out on, on part number one and two by the way they'll be linked in the description of the video um, is I have split this box up into the pack arts and in each part I'm going to be opening up every single different pack art. So there's four different pack arts and we'll have four different parts. So there were 10 Delphox break packs so that's what we're going to open up in this part. Um, it's a, like a kind of a comparison to see what parts or like what pack arts will give you the better pulls I guess you could say. But anyway we'll see what this Delphox break pack art has in store for us because part one amazing part two i was like what but <laughs> let's see what part three has in store for us but we get a lavatar a diglet spwink riolu dugong and helix fossil omanite carving reverse that one is the safe safeguard carving not bad and a kabutops regular rare a cling and x scissor x scissor but let's go. Pack number two. Can pack number two come through? Let's see. So we got no first pack magic. Let's see if pack number two can come through. Awesome. So let's try hide any sort of glimmer if there is any sort of glimmer. Uh, we got a Diglett. Spoink. A Riolu. Seleucus. Fennekin. We got an N. Another N. And a Lucha. Check that. We got N and Halucha back to back. Shout out to the Pokemon Evolutionaries. Ah, uh, N loves his Halucha. He loves it. He loves it anyway. Moving on. We got a Dome Fossil Kabuto. A Riolu Reverse with Double Smash. And a Hollow Mew. So pack number two came through. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. But we got uh, 50 HP with Memories of Dawn and Encounter. So yeah, feel free to pause and have a read of that one if you would like. But awesome, another Mew to add to the collection. Let's go, Delphox break. This pack th feels really thick, hey? I don't know. I don't know, it just feels weird. Sometimes I just get that, like when I pick a pack up, it's either it's because it's like really airtight, or something like that, but there you go. Enjoy. Don't think I've given one out yet, so there you go. Dang, nose bit itchy. But let's go. So we have a Vullaby, a Coughing, Minchino, Diglett, Riolu, Pupitar. Haven't seen Pupitar for a while. A Shauna, Strong Energy, a Reverse Spoink, just, I don't know, Rocket Jump, just like literally into the clouds. Crazy. And a Marowak Regular Rare. Cool, so, so far this Delphox break pack art isn't even, like, slightly comparing to the Mega Alakazam pack art. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Definitely the best pack art of the box, and it was part number one. So what a way to kick off box number four. Hopefully, um, hopefully this part can, um, step it up a little bit for us. Just to, just to um, give Mega Alakazam just a little bit of competition. But we've got a Snivy. Solosis, Gothita, Minchino, Wisma, Alakazam Spirit Link, A Whimsicott, Zygarde, A Reverse, is that a rare? No, that's an uncommon Wigglytuff. So let's let's have a look at this art. I know. I kinda just look over this, but you got Wigglytuff just kinda chilling. And they got like a trainer in the background. I'm guessing it's the Wigglytuff's trainer just chilling as well. On the laptop. And we've got a hollow Delphox. It's so not bad. I believe this one is actually hollow Delphox number two. Little spoiler. Little spoiler, but um Hollow Delphox two of the box, which is expected as there are only like five or six hollows in the uh face collide set. So definitely expected. Like usually I'd probably be a, a little bit more like what? Why why are we getting like a duplicate hollow? But yeah. If you if you crunch numbers, you'll realize that that's just how it is. But there we go, there is a code. 
I don't know, I thought I saw something interesting on that code. I just like to look for words. I don't know if you guys like to look for words on the codes as well. But let's go. We got a Courtney. Courtney. Riolu. Goth Heater. Wisma. Minchino. Whoops. Fairy Garden. A Weezing. Team Rocket's Handiwork. Altaria Spirit Link. And an Aerodactyl. Dang. Dang, so how many packs we got left in this part? We've got five. Five more packs to go of the Delphox Break Pack Art. So yeah, two hollows so far. Nothing too crazy. But let's see. Hopefully this part can just knock it up just a little bit more. We just need that little bit more hype. Or did part number one steal all the hype? So we got a Jigglypuff. Riolu. Seal. Lavatar. Whoops. Vullaby, Dugong, a Loudrid, Alakazam Spirit Link, a Reverse Rare Tyranitar, that's not bad, not bad, and a Regular Rare Barbarical, surprisingly this is the first one of the box as well, so that's interesting, but it has Hand Block and Claw Slash. Cool, so we got a Reverse Rare there, which I haven't seen too many of so far in this box either. I think, I think we got one in part one and one in part two. So this is like the one in part three, I'm guessing. There we go. Curt up to the back. Three and two. And let's go. So we have a Sni Snivy with Blot. Jigglypuff. Fennekin. Snubble. Seal. Chinchino. A double colorless energy. Dome Fossil Kabuto, a Reverse Burmy, that one is a common with Hang Down, and a Hollow Curum. So what is happening? But like, it's just like a part about Hollows once again. <laughs> once again, no spoilers intended. But yeah, White Curum with 130 HP with Burning Ice Coals and Blizzard Burn. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So we got three more packs left. If we can get an Ultra, that would be amazing. But if we don't, then I guess we've kind of like got our one in three pack ratio already. With three packs to go, which is interesting. But who knows? But there we go. There is a code. Throw that one off to the side. I've been doing my best to hide the um, the backs of the code cards because I can tell you right now that the backs of the code cards in this boost box in particular spoils the pulse. It legit, I have to like refrain from looking at them myself. It, which is really annoying because it just wrecks it for me too because I'm like, oh, I don't want to see it but <laughs> times two shout out to the Pokemon Evolutionaries like, and the Halucha, back to back once again like what? 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 anyway so we got a Reuniclus that one is a reverse rare and a Zygarde regular rare so once again, this is the first Zygarde regular rare of the box too so it's got 120 HP with Rumble and Geo Strike. Second last pack of part number three. So yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't understand how Alakazam could steal all the hype. Because yeah, we'd definitely be expecting a lot, like a lot more. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. Or if uh, this box is a bit more heavy on on the hollows. Who knows? Who knows? I will never know. And you guys will never know unless you check out parts number one and two. But we got a Salosis, Vullaby, a Chaos Tower. That one is the first one of the box. Zygarde, Bent Spoon, a Reverse Rare Lucario. Awesome. So the Delphox Break Pack Art seems to be pretty heavy on, on the Reverse Rares. And then we've got a Bronzong Regular Rare. So we're hoping for that last pack magic right now. Did I just knock the camera? I think I just knocked the camera. But yeah, last pack magic, please. Please, we need some ultra rare goodness to show its face. Ten packs, no ultras. Let's throw that code up to the back. And let's see what we can get. So, we have... Whoops. Let's get that a little bit lower. There we go. We've got a Diglett. A Lavatar. Carbink. Jigglypuff. Riolu. Scorched Earth, Old Amber Aerodactyl. Whoops, I think I just grabbed two cards again. 
God damn it. We got a Wormadam, the grass type one. Snubble, that one is just a reverse common with ruckus. I'll be causing a ruckus if we don't get something nice here. But let's go. A Tyranitar Hollow. Oh no. Oh no. So we've, we've gone, I'm just going to spoil it now. We've gone back to back with just Hollow. So we went from part number one, all Ultras. Part two, all Hollows. Part three, all Hollows. Like, well, the trend. The trends, though. But not a bad Hollow, nonetheless. Sure, wow. What a weird box so far. Like, it's, um, it's not like weird, weird, but just like pull wise. Um, seeing it being pulled in this order through the pack arts kind of thing like just it's a weird way of them packaging it I guess like set pack arts only having hollows and then yeah I don't know strange but we've got a Lucario reverse rare Reuniclus reverse rare Tyranitar reverse rare and then we got the white Curum hollow Delphox hollow Tyranitar hollow and the Mew hollow so yeah, let's have a nice close-up of each. Let me know in the comments section below what one out of these four hollows is your favorite and why. So we got the white Kion. Let's have a nice close-up of that art. Then we've got the Delphox art. Check that one out. Let's have a nice close-up of the Tyranitar art. And the new art. So there we go, there are the four arts. Let me know in the comment section below what one is your favourite. But yeah, weird part, in my opinion. But regardless, if you guys enjoyed part number three of box number four, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me know in the comment section below about those hollows. And I look forward to seeing you guys in part number four or another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.